We got a band in the studio now. Isn't that amazing? It's a special, special show for you guys. I've got the Reverend Bob Levy That's here. Right, brother. It's good to be here. It's good to have you here. Hey, man. I love being in warehouses. <laughs> and you bring a band everywhere you go. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I, I used to go to with intro music everywhere, like a wrestler. Every sure. time I came in somewhere, the music would go on. But now I just bring a band. I, I could do that intro for you. I could be like, now making his way to the ring, no. the Reverend Bob Levy. Yeah, I need that for the bedroom. Now coming to the bed, <laughs> weighing 205 pounds, eight and a half inches of manhood. Right. Or uh, that's on, uh, what kind of measurement are you doing that on? Uh, Canadian. Yeah. Metric, right? Yeah. <laughs> How you do it? It's so good to have hey, you in studio. It's good to be here, man. You know, you're one of my favorite comedians, one of Adam's favorite comedians. I'm, I know. I'm, I, I know I'm my, one of my favorite comedians. Yeah. You, you do uh, Anthony's show a lot. Yes, Anthony, uh, Anthony Kumia. Kumia did that yesterday. Yeah. What uh, What is it like doing it without Opie now that it's changed? Well, I wasn't allowed in the building for a long time since I got thrown out because uh, a little bit of a death threat or something. <laughs> So I wasn't allowed in there for a while. So I never really went in there. Right. So I used to do it over the phone. Okay. And, and being in studio is a lot. Isn't it a lot better? It's so much better, yeah. you know, because you're there. And me and Anthony click. We got this thing together that we can just go and do it, and it's just so fun. It, it, it is. I've seen you do it before. Uh, I think you're amazing there. You and Anthony definitely click, and I think that's so important. It is. How did you get started in comedy? Uh, basically, my job in my bar that I hung out and was when new people came in, I would go bust their balls so they would want to fight us. And that was my job. And then my friend goes, you're pretty funny. Why don't you try comedy? And then Jackie the Joke Man had the open mic thing at Rascals. So I went down there and next thing you know, Jackie gave me the name The Reverend because, you know, it was pretty dirty. At the, well, I'm still dirty, but... <laughs> Sometimes when it misses, it's not good. And uh, I, I, at one time, I fucking bomb really bad, and the people are totally offended. And he goes, "Hey, how about a hand with the Reverend?" You know, so it stuck. So, yeah. You know, it's sort of like uh, my sheets. Jackie is—he's you're a legend. Jackie is also a legend. He's amazing. No, he's a great guy too. I love Jackie. Yeah. You know, we got to do uh, Anthony Cumia's show all together. I was, was there. Yeah, it was amazing. And you guys were unbelievable. It was Stuttering John, Casey, Gorilla. Uh, Gorill Steve Grillo, you, uh, and Jackie. Jackie, um, yeah. And 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 Anthony dressed up as art as as Howard rather. Yeah. Uh, and and you guys had a lot of fun right before Christmas. Yeah, it was a great time. Man. It was now great you, seeing them. You've all. been on Howard a lot. Yeah. Is it fun kind of goofing around like that, especially when the guys are telling stories? Well, yeah. I mean, it was a great time. Truthfully, it was. You know what I mean? It was a great time until it wasn't a great time. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best way I can do it. You know, Howard's a good guy. He had a lot of douchebags around him that probably didn't tell him the truth and made up shit. And he, you know, of course, he's going to take their side over mine. So, uh, you know, that's cool. Sure. I, I'm I, past it already. You know what I mean? It took me five years, but I'm past it. I feel like Howard is a great guy. I, no, I he love is. listening to Howard. I love listening to Anthony. But I, I also feel like you're right that there must be a lot of political stuff behind the scenes. Uh, everybody wants to be up his ass. You understand? Uh, I never, I don't come from that uh, place. You know, I, I'm just good to people. People treat me right, I treat them right. That's it. But they're, they're like, they'll, they'll throw you under the bus for a, for a second, you know what I mean? Sure. And especially the management. You know, they, they the management, you don't need management. Management is fucking garbage. I, I, I seen radio from the front to the back, and I realized how much horse shit is in between the star and the people that come on the show. It really is. It is amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly, I see it a lot, especially when we interview uh, all sorts of celebrities like yourself. 
Although you're you're awesome, uh, you're salt of the earth kind of person. I'm just fucking real. normal, you know what I mean? I'm I'm the kind of guy that'll you know I'll buy you a beer and I'll also fuck your girlfriend in the ass. I, I would hope. Yeah, I would hope. Yeah. I mean, that's the least you could do. For what buy you a here. drink? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, CJ's in the chat room, by the way, and he says, yeah. uh, "Hi Bob," How you and doing? Opie sucks. Um, no, you see, I, I look, I, I never get into any of that shit. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. If you're nice to me, nobody's done anything to me. I really don't give a fuck. Right. You understand? And, and Opie's always been nice to you. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, if you, like, I don't judge anybody by race, fucking, you know, religion, sure. fucking what they believe. Or If you treat me, like, if you treat me fucked up, I'm coming at you worse. Because that's the way you should be, you right. know. There's no yeah. reason to judge. You don't judge somebody by the way they look. You know what I mean? Sure. Like if I didn't like bald people, I'd, you know, what am I gonna do? Stab you? Probably. Yeah, that'd well, be a good thing. No, nah, but you know what I mean. I, you know, it's like you don't. You just. You gotta live life. Yeah. You don't let life live you. I agree. You I know. Think, I think that's a good way to live. Now you're also uh, gonna be on the Artie Lang show too, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, How's Artie doing? Artie's doing great, man. Uh, me and Artie, we we talk a lot on the phone. We both give each other advice, which is like weird when you think of me giving advice to Artie and then well, Artie giving advice to me. I don't know if I take the advice Artie gives. No, me. but it works for us. Really? For us, it works. And we, I had a talk with him the other night, and I, I thanked him. I said, "You made me really feel different about the way I look at things in life." You know, now that I'm working, you know, I, I, I'm working with the Warrior Point now uh, yeah. with the vets. You know, to help out I all wanna... the vets. I want to get to that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's get to it now. Let's not wait. Okay. Um, uh, let's get all the serious stuff out of the way. We, okay. We're having, uh, you know, we're talking about... Serious sex, huh? <laughs> well, I'm not allowed in. <laughs> Still banned from the building. What did you do to get banned? They said I attacked security. I didn't attack security. Just, you just and then I went on times. my show and threatened to kill Howard and his wife. But oh. I was I did it as a joke and the cops came and... The FBI was involved. The NYPD came to my house. Does it bother you that today you cannot make a joke anymore? Like you can't literally. I can't say. I'm you gonna know, kill you everybody if I do. says when I, I when I say to somebody I'm going to kill you, it does not mean I'm going to kill you. Right. It means I'm going to fucking hurt you. <laughs> do you understand? There's a difference. I know. I, I grew up in a place where that's what you you said. I'll fucking kill you. Right. You, it didn't mean I'm going to kill you. Right. It didn't you don't go around saying if you want somebody dead, you don't say it. Right, exactly. You just don't see no, the No, I agree, because I grew up the same way, and I think about, yeah. like, all the hockey fights we were in or all the, yeah. you know, all the jawing we had, and I would be arrested 50 times back in high school if they treated people no. then the way they do now. And it drives me nuts, and there are some words that I absolutely, because I think they're the funniest words in the world, and they never were said to meant harm. Say the N-word, yeah. No, no I'm kidding. No, that's, and that's not the word I'm talking about. I know, about, I know. But, but the whole thing of, is is yeah. that you can't say anything anymore. Well, there's, the word I was thinking of is fat. You can't even say fat anymore. You can't say anything. They're, they're, they're uh, fucking skinny challenged. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you don't know what the fucking... I don't know what the... I, I talk the way I do. If yeah. people don't understand it, that's their fucking problem. Right. This is Bobisms. This is These are words that I say. I like that. You know Bob what I mean? I come up with my own fucking words, you know? Because of the fact that I don't need to fucking... I'm not there to impress anybody. Right. And I'm not ha there to have somebody impress me. Yeah. I'm just go out there and fucking enjoy stuff. Myself. Now, uh, you work with the vets. You're you're raising money for the vets. Now, yes, I, we talk a lot about on Be Terrific uh, how important the vets are. They, I, yeah. uh, I mean, just this weekend, I was in an airport. I'm walking towards security. I see a guy who's greeting his family, a soldier, see, and yeah. I just say thank you. Uh, uh, I, I believe that these men and women go to battle, whether you're for the war or any war. It doesn't against matter. It, it doesn't matter to me because these men and women go. It's blindly. their job. It's yes. their job. You know, and people say, "Oh, the poor. They're all poor." I do it. No, it's not. These are people that. These are very intelligent people. And I, I, I work with a warrior point. Uh, they're on. Join their Facebook. You'll see. They're very intelligent uh, people. And, and and if you're in the military or ex-military, you go to warriorpoint.org and you can join on there. You have to be somehow military. Sure. And what we're gonna do is basically, you know, we're gonna do shows all all around to bring awareness of where the vets are. You don't know where they are. You don't know that they're in the house. They don't want to see people. You know, some of them need service dogs. I got the price down from one guy. They usually go over twenty thousand to forty thousand dollars in a wow. six-month wait. I got a guy that he went to his brother's house, who was also a vet, 
w they wanted 20 grand and they wanted a six month wait. And he walked in and his brother had a gun in his mouth. So he started training in dogs that he got from shelters, right? And he goes, I'll give them to you for four grand, Bob. Excellent. So now, you know, I can, now we can get them out in a fast time. You know, and I said, even just adopting regular dogs, they know, because when I remember when I was sick for three days, uh, you know, I take uh, Xanax for anxiety, mm -hmm. and, I, and I, I overdid it, and I ran out. And I said, you know, I'm not going to make a bullshit. I'm going to sit through this. And I was like, again, I You're seen my withdrawal. I, I seen myself from the other side. You sure. understand? I was in a place where you, 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 you it, not many people have been. Well, you can't, you can't just quit that cold turkey. No, you can die. Yeah. But, but I was able to know I was going to. You know, I was coming up with things I was telling my wife to write down. I had the dogs quiet. They would follow me. They would stop. I, they, they never barked. And I said, watch this. I'm going to lay on the floor. The dog didn't jump on me. They were not those dogs, right? So, and I noticed that the dogs, they would smell me like I was different because I was totally different. Yeah. And they know when something is wrong, even just regular dogs. So and, they can help too. Right. And dogs help a lot. Mm -hmm. they're, they're good family members. They're great, you know, and I always say adopting a dog is good. I've well, that's what it is. Yet. And we, and the dogs that we get are from the shelter that he trains. Wow. So it's saving too. And then we get more people. To, once they realize how much the dogs really do help you, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's fucking comforting. You know what I mean? It's They're important. happy to see you when yeah, you come home. Of course, it's I come home, my wife's like, what the fuck? You left shit out. Or, you know, I'm like, fucking Jesus Christ. All right, I'll go jerk oh, off. We're married to, do women are sisters? Probably. I've been married fucking three times. I'm not good at this shit, man. What do you got to do? Is there a secret? I don't know the fucking secret if there is. You know what I mean? At the beginning, I'm good dating. Yeah. I'm I'm good dating at the beginning. You know what I mean? Once I eat it, oh, my phone's take, ringing. Take it's probably hard. Don't worry about it. We, we'll just have the band play a little. I can't talk to it. I don't even know who that is. But no, but the whole fucking thing is, is that, you know. Uh, which, which wife do you think that is? Calling from a private number? Let's take a guess. <laughs> no, the, 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 the exes don't talk to me. Not at all? No. Only, you know, if I... N need to pay the alimony a little quicker. No, child support. <laughs> Fucking prick, you little <laughs> bastard there. My son in the band. So your son's in the band. That's, yeah. that's the secret we're going to reveal you, you later. Did, but yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, but... What is... <laughs> How did the news you thing have come on? To work this thing? No, I don't. The fucking CBS News. Like I, I give a shit about this. Fuck Obama, <laughs> and his fucking uh, cancer saving uh, Biden. Oh, you're in charge of curing cancer. Yeah. Thanks. That's that's a good. He move. just turned around and goes, like, "You're in charge." Of, and the fucking guy's like, "What?" Yeah. I'm char I'm in charge of curing cancer. Maybe no. they should have discussed that first. This is exactly. Union. It looked like Biden was hearing it for the first time. Exactly. It was the weirdest fucking thing. I he mean, he really did look like he had never heard that before. He, he didn't. He has some big fucking horse teeth. Nobody, you know, fucking I give love the guy those a things. They're like chiclets. Though. Yeah, give him a carrot and some send him on his fucking way. At least with John Elway, you knew they were real. These yeah. things, like, they're so fake. But he was it's a like, Bronco. He looked yeah. like one. You know, but with but with Biden, you're like, who do you think you're faking with those teeth and the hair plugs? Yeah, and I don't know what he's doing now. If he's gonna run or something, something's going he's on. He's gotta. I mean, I feel like he's got to because Hillary's tanking. Well, right? She's, and she's, fucking, not, she she's the size she's of a like fucking book. tank, and Bill. You can see why Bill's fucking other women, you know. And you know, I think she's fucking other women. Probably. You know Most what I mean? Likely. Don't you think Obama could have like? What do you think? How it went down? Like they're about to walk out, and he's like. Big announcement for you. Stick with me. I mean, yeah. I, like, couldn't he have said, uh, "Hey, by the way, just so you know, you're gonna be the cancer czar." Yeah, I mean, how can this guy cure cancer when they can't even cl cure fucking unemployment? Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it's not. It has not. Uh, it's it's lower than it, 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 it's higher than it's ever been. Right. And he's saying that it's not. He goes, if you look at the numbers a certain way, yeah, if you're laying on your back with your <laughs> fucking dick over your eye. Well, you know, it's funny that you bring that up because my I remember, dick over my eye. Yes. Thank Have, you. How many times does that happen to you? Sometimes when yeah. I lay down, it's pretty. Like I said, it ain't small. <laughs> That's why they come back. And you're talking in front of your son like this. Yeah, he fucking. Uh, I fucking, He knows. He knows I'm nuts. I, I don't hide anything from my son. What's with the band? The band is, they don't have a name. Because they just started, they met yesterday. 
but they couldn't come up with a name. They look like smart kids. How old are they? I don't know. Dude, it's fourteen. No, he's 14, no. Son's my 14? son's sixteen. All right, All stop right. it. Yeah, I think he's nineteen. He's twenty-one, and he's twenty-four. All right, they're pretty good. They're very good. They're you fuck. <laughs> What do you think? I'm going to have my son play with a bunch of fucking douchebags? But they just met yesterday. They just met yesterday. And they, we have no name for them. We'll have one by tonight. What right. things, you All know right. what I mean? Yeah, I got it. I got Look it. Look at you with the fucking Jedi yeah. shit in front of me. Well, I'm trying to stimulate your mind. Yeah. Look, yeah, do you really use the force. Uh, use Bob. the force. If I ever watch that fucking movie, I'm not one of those Star Wars, Star Trek, fucking any of that shit. Yeah. That's a waste of fucking time. If I go to a it's movie, like golf. no, it's like if I go to a movie, I want to be able to jerk off to it. These, what is that thing? Take me fucking an hour. Well, look, Princess Leia didn't look bad. Oh come on. She had a bikini on in one of the films. The, I look. I I I never. I seen the first one. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. There was a guy with a black hood saying I was your father. Yeah. And when does that happen? All the time. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I didn't get it. I, I, yeah. I didn't know what the fuck it's about. You right. know what I mean? I'm like, I, what is this thing? What, what is he doing? I don't I, know. I don't give a I fuck. Don't, I don't know. You put batteries in him, he talks, he does some stuff, he moves around. Yeah, so does a fucking doll I can fuck, but You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to fuck Do him. you have a real doll? No, I... Uh, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. My, my, uh, my next... Uh, I'm going to get one of them uh, refugee chicks. See, I always think that you do a comedy show and all these women want to sleep with you afterwards. They do. Well, yeah. they used to... I mean, we used to get a lot of pussy. Yeah. But we slowed down. We retired, me and Florentine. We... Retired with Hall of Fame numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't. You don't. You don't want to like be well, in it too long. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to say, hey, you know, I should have retired maybe two years ago. You want to be like Seinfeld, you, not like Tiger Woods. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to go out like you know, fucking Lou Gehrig right. with a disease. Or Peyton Manning. You don't want to go out like Peyton Man with no. a disease. <laughs> you yeah, no. What um. What do you think of athletes today? Do you think that they make too much? I think that they're fucking. Uh, the their boss is turning them into a bunch of pussies. Yeah, they they know what they're getting into. Yeah, they want to play. They want to hurt each other. Uh, you know, you got you play to fucking win. You don't play not to hurt somebody when somebody's coming across the middle. They know what they're signing up for. If you're going to give me ten million dollars and say you might be in a wheelchair, yeah, that's the, that's the deal that it's always been. But would you say that? So maybe the argument is then that at a young age, like the pee wee football, they stop tackling, they play a little flag, and they have to get older before they start taking these hits. But then they can be tough. I mean, because I agree on you some level, you, they know what they're signing you, up you, for. You, 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 you can't start from fucking, you know what I mean, sissy. Right and move up. You got to be able to take the hits when you're a kid. I played baseball my whole life. I played sports, you know, hockey. We didn't fucking, you know, start with this candy ass right. shit. You, you got hit in that face with a stick, it happened. And yet your son's in a band. You put him in a band. Well, yeah. <laughs> no contact. He, motherfucker can't do anything. You know what I mean? He ain't going to work for anybody. You think he's like me. He's yeah. the same as me. You know, is, I can't work for anybody. Is that why you went into comedy? Yeah. I kill people for a living. What else am I going to do? That seems like fun, though. Seriously. Well, yeah, if you don't get caught. Right. It's no, good that's money. The hard, that's the hard part, is not getting caught. Yeah, yet. well, I mean, back then, you it's easy, it was easier. Nowadays, sure. forget about it. They find you come on anything, <laughs> you know? You always leave cum behind. I don't know why. But are you, are you supposed to, I mean, I think you're supposed to just kill the people, not shoot them with both guns. No, you, you come always comes out. It always you just get you, excited you, when you when yeah you when you're somebody. choking somebody. You know what I mean? You're gonna, <laughs> there's gonna be cum on them. Yeah. So you got to be careful about that. I I would agree. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, it's a simple thing. Tape it to your thigh. Hey, man, you, it's still gonna be. They're gonna find tape with cum on it, <laughs> and they're saying it's gonna be you're in trouble. Yeah. You know. What do you say we hear the band? What, do you think that that would be good? We'll take a commercial break. We'll come back and hear the band. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna play uh, a, a tribute song to uh, for our buddy uh, Artie Lang. This is his opening music that he comes out to on stage. Okay. It's a little song by the You like touring with Artie? That sounds like a lot of fun. I had a ball. Me and Artie were talking about Vegas the other day on Twitter, and people were like, "Save it for the show." Uh, I'll be on tomorrow tonight. I'm yeah. going on tonight. And, so. and are you, are you, but are you ever worried about like if you go out on the road with Artie, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna go off the wagon? No, I think we, it's better for us to be together. Because you don't drink either anymore. No, five no. years. 
Five and a half years. Five and a half. Congratulations. You know, yeah, thank you. You know what I mean? But uh, now I'm um, addicted to prostitutes. All right. No, I'm kidding. I No, I was going to ask if that's, you know, you're married, so is that... No, yeah, yeah, I'm knows. married. I'm married, yeah. You it's know, okay to stay helped, on the air? Yeah, she don't give a shit. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm not... I don't go... I don't pay prostitutes. Just they give, do it for free. Yeah. But no, <laughs> my wife knows that, you know, you know, look, she, she never drank... Never yeah. did drugs, so she was like, "You can, you can quit," and I just stopped. That's and, pretty good. And I did it myself. It wasn't like I went. Colin Quinn was telling me you got to go to a meeting, and I'm like, "Fucking, I never." You know, I went to a meeting once, and I'm like, "I never blew a guy and lost my house," <laughs> truthfully. <laughs> and that's what I said. I told Nick DePaolo well, that. Well, you didn't hit rock hilarious. bottom then, Bob. <laughs> I, well, I didn't. I almost fucking killed somebody. I wanted to beat. I wanted to kill him. Yeah. I kill him. Kill him. You're serious. Yeah. You really I, wanted to kill somebody. Yes. And it was after. It was at his show. And then afterwards, I tried to, and they stopped me. And then the next night, I said, I'm just gonna do, you know, two beers, and I'm done. We went to Atlantic City to play, and ever since then, I haven't drank. Yeah. Because That's you know, I, I have a bad temper. I like that. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> uh, what about the killers? Is that a name that's already taken? Yeah, of Probably. course. Of you, course. Band, yeah, we'll know. have a name I'm for the good band tomorrow. I'm not good at band names. All right. yeah, of course. And you're not yeah. good at decorations either. Look yeah, at this fuck fucking you, thing. Yeah. There, that's for you, Bob. Oh, fuck. There you go. See, that was hot. That, that was good, right? Yeah. All right, hold on. I, I wanna... didn't think it was that fucking heavy. It is heavy. What are you fucking hell? You hide your coke in there? Uh, no, it's it's going to work later, I'm sure. You're going to be at Butch Bradley's Comedy Hideaway this Friday and Saturday in, in Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. Hideawayac.com. Hideawayac.com. Everybody can go there to find you. Yeah, the, RevBobLevy.com. Come out. I kick ass, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. I'm not bragging. I'm fucking telling you the truth. I give you a fucking show. I'll do an hour and a half myself. I don't need a fucking opener. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, we ever see this? No, I don't give a fuck. Just bring me up. They don't want to care about you. And then, then I'm fucking going to Connecticut yeah. two weeks after. And and that's at mycomedyclub.com. Great and, place. Uh, I've been there. Nagatuck, yes, Connecticut. Devour Commons. Restaurant. Nagatuck, it's Connecticut. It's not a Savour. That's what fucking Anthony's guy wrote down, too. It's on your website. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not a fucking restaurant. It's a comedy club. There's a restaurant next door. I'm not going to perform there. I'll fucking eat something there, but I'm not going to fucking <laughs> hang out there. But this place is fun. What are you going to have before your act? Do you eat? I don't eat. I don't. I don't eat before. You don't eat at all. Do I you? don't eat at all. I eat late at night. You yeah. know what I mean? When I watching fucking like me and Andy you, were talking about. Yeah. Like, you, so those you, you watch porn things. and eat. No, no. We watch history. You history. See? Yeah. I learned a lot about. You know, last night was all Kennedy stuff. Yeah. And, uh, Have you seen this documentary on Kennedy, uh, where uh, they basically say that the gunman, uh, the fatal shot, was fired by a Secret Service agent? I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, it's amazing. They Be, have an Australian uh, uh, cop do it, do it as a, treat it as a cold case. No, nah, yeah, I'm, I would say, look, he fucked over the mob, actually. They helped him, and then they, he fucked them well, over. Well, so this theory brother. is, you've got to watch this documentary. I've got to pull up the name of it uh, after these guys play it when we come back from commercial. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, they treat it as a cold case, an Australian detective. And he comes here and he treats it as a cold case. Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, he's got the knife and everything. Yeah. That's not a knife. <laughs> uh, That's not a blown off head. <laughs> and what happened, what he's saying is that the Secret Service go out so hard the night before, they're all hung over. So the rookie who didn't, uh, didn't go oh, out Oh, that with them. sounds like horse shit. Uh, you got to see it, though. They have a uh, shot of him on. with this I'm, machine gun. Let me tell you something. Yeah. He got pushed to be president. People pushed him. Yeah. He, then they were, he went at his brother was going after them. And That's true. I mean, there's so much there, though. But the thing is, if you're there, didn't you think that Oswald's shot was like an impossible shot and was so far away? And then I went to Dallas, and it's not that far. It seems pretty possible. No. No, Dallas is pretty far. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You're funny. I'm fucking good. Uh, am, at yeah. the Rev Bob Levy, uh, at the Rev Bob Levy on social on media, on Twitter, on Twitter. Yep. and then the you know Bob I'll follow you too. I'm a nice guy, and Thank I talk. You. I talk to you. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be a douchebag and just yeah. post my dates. 
Uh, look, you see, I, I you have fun. You're always on. I'm, uh, no, I when if I, I got I'm doing my business there, and I talk to people and fucking you know be nice to them. Uh, yeah. I'm not there just to play. I'm there to fucking talk about sports, talk about this, whatever I want to talk about. I you like know, that. How we can save the fucking vets. We're going to do this town to town. Boom, boom, boom. Watch this, man. I'm going to make big corporations get down on their fucking knees and suck my dick and fucking give them the money and put it 100% into the account that goes straight to the vets. I love that because the vets allow us to put our heads on the pillow at night. They, exactly. They give us freedom. We forget all about yeah. that shit, you know what we I mean? Really all we think about is ourselves. I've never been like that in my fucking life. Probably that's why I'm broke. Yeah. Because I fucking Could everybody Could be the three ex-wives. Well, that doesn't help either. But, <laughs> but no, the whole thing is is that everybody, you know, always thinks about themselves. I always think about other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's important. It is. It is very important. I, I've got a, a friend, uh, Captain Ben Harrow, uh, lost both his legs and part of his right arm stepping on an IED on his third tour of duty. Uh, this was in Afghanistan. Yeah, and he's lucky to be it. alive. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. And these people need all the, the ramps. They need the the wheelchairs. They, they need, need the steps. Uh, that chair that goes up the step. I'm gonna make deals with them. I fucking make deals with everybody. I love it. I'm not fucking around. I love it. We're going to talk more about that. We're going to talk uh, more about your dates. We're going to have some more fun. My dates? I'm married, you fuck. What are you, <laughs> get, you fucking cock blocker? On, you, I'm fucking on TV. And Rev, you're, uh, RevBobLevy.com, at the Rev Bob Levy. That's right. And uh, and then the Bob Levy Band is going to play next. We're going to go well, to We're going to call them uh, that for now, but I, yeah. we have a good name. Can we just introduce them real quick? Let's get a wide shot. Okay. We've got Dom. That's your son right here. Yeah, yeah he's in the corner in the black leather jacket. Yeah. And this guy, his name is... Uh, Pete. Pete. We got Pete. Andrew. Andrew. Mike. And Mike on the drums. Yeah. I like the drums. He let me sit behind the drums and fool around a little. I'm terrible. Only for you. Thank you, Mike. You I appreciate that. And, and he's put the Terrifics logo on his drum set. I love it. Once again, just for you. You, you say? For the Terrifics. Well, yeah, for everybody. Yeah. Everybody and once they have the, we'll come back with the uh, the originals and everything. And uh, Yeah. We're going to have a song for the troops, and we're going to fucking donate it to them. Excellent. And uh, these, these fucking kids have got a lot of talent, man, and they just met yesterday. I love it. I think the audience is already impressed, but the Terrifics are going to be even more impressed. We're going to go to commercial. We're going to come back. They'll be playing. We'll take another commercial break. You and I will be back. And, whatever. Uh, whatever. We'll it's your show. Fun. Don't tell me what the fuck I'm just do. giving you the rundown. Hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, and hopefully they'll come back to play when they've got a couple of singles. Yeah, they will, these yeah. fuckers. Yeah, because if not, then they'll be working in the basement for you. <laughs> it ain't easy burying hookers in cement. <laughs> That's what I've heard. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with a whole lot more for you guys and the band right after this. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. Yes. <laughs> this one goes out to Artie. <laughs> Don't cry 
don't raise your eyes. It's only teenage wasting. Try to take my hand. Travel just cross hands. Pull out the fire. Don't look past my shoulder. This is here. The happy ones are near. So let's get together before we get much older. I see a red dot and I want to paint it black. I see a crack and I have to paint it black. I see the girls walk by dressed in their summer clothes. I had to turn my head until my dog is gone. I see a line of cars and they are painted black. I see a red door and I have to paint it black. Then I'll fade away and I have to face the facts. That is the face it up when your whole world is black. It's pretty amazing, Terrifics. We have a full drum set in here. Mm -hmm. These guys are unbelievable, and it's hard to believe, Bob, that they were just formed yesterday. This is Bob Levy, the Reverend Bob okay. Levy. The Michael Arts Show, you're the Terrifics. You make me terrific special. Great to have you in studio. It's great to be here, man. I, I love that you travel with a band everywhere. Uh, yeah. That's your son, Dom, who's yeah. in the leather jacket. He's really good. He's on the bass. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, the rest of the band. Um, Mike, you're, you're the drummer. How hard is it for you guys to do this when you have only been together, what, 24 hours? I would say it's actually not that hard because of how good the talent we put together yeah. the amount of time we did. They are pretty amazing. I mean, yeah. honestly, for playing not even, let's say, four hours total together, we can just sit here and write off covers and do stuff like that. That's pretty impressive, but especially for our ages. Yeah. I don't see many other kids being able to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's and that's pretty why impressive. they're going to make it. What kind, what's your style? Have you figured out what your style is My yet? Style is music. We don't have a style. We just want to play what we love. That's all. It's all when it comes down to it. There's no style. It's the sound. It's 
what he gets out of every car, when he gets out of every car, I get a drum set, and he gets out of a big car. It's, yeah. it's pretty amazing how well-spoken these kids are, and I said to you earlier in the night, like, what I like about them is they're all good kids. Yeah, for retarded kids, they're probably <laughs> the best kids I know, and they're well-spoken. And see No people, drool or anything. And there are certain people who, who want to get rid of, uh, abort these kinds of, of children. No, that's why my son had a coat hanger around his head for about three years. And then I said, let me take it off. I don't think, you know, yeah. we're going to keep them. We've got, uh, that's great, by the yeah. way. Uh, we've got some of the Terrifics watching. Now, I don't know, we don't know this because we've been here. Yeah. Um, but apparently there are people, like, freaking out on the piers in L.A., maybe Santa Monica, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, people are giving away, you talked about giving back, they're giving away lottery tickets. Not knowing if they're the winning ticket for $1.5 but they're giving them away. Well, you know, look, the chances of somebody winning... You know, yeah. I fucking give away a few, you know what I mean? If it'll give me a fucking blowjob at a pier. You think that that could work? Like, Oh, fuck yeah. Here's here's $40 worth of lottery tickets? <laughs> Believe me, I, I've got fucking blown for a quarter gram of Coke. But that's like more than 40 bucks, isn't it? It's no, like, it's like 20 euros. Uh, 20 euros? 20 dollars. <laughs> oh, euros. <laughs> no, I mean, come on. I mean, you, it's like, look. It's like somebody that gets you for your birthday. They get you those scratch off. Sure, things. yeah. You don't fucking win anything. Nothing. And if you do, you got to fucking drive to Pennsylvania to fucking cash it in. Well, that's the fun part. Then you can find the hookers. Yeah, but then very you, inexpensively. It, it, it costs you money. Yeah. You know, they, they, I went look, to, I just went, give me the money that yeah. you spent on the fucking tickets, and I'll buy what I want. I like that. All right, I don't need your fucking bad luck. What would you do if you won one point five billion dollars? Are you gonna play? I'm not playing. Well, I'm my wife playing. bought it too. I don't know. Yeah. Look, if we if we well, win, if your wife wins, I guarantee you're not doing anything. I guarantee she fucking divorces <laughs> me. I, 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 you know, she'll probably give me. Like, you better get some good lawyers if that's the case. Nah, you need a had, little cut no, of that. No. Don't you get a little cut? I do. You get a cut. Yeah, yeah. No matter what, she can't get away with not giving me any. But yeah. look, uh, enough to buy a jet, right? A uh, jet would be nice. Yeah. Uh, or a fucking hockey team. <laughs> You know? What team would you buy? The Rangers. You would buy. I'm a Ranger fan too. No. Yeah. But that's gonna be the whole billion probably. You gotta buy it from the Dolans. I, I'll make a deal. You yeah. know what I mean? You only need half the team anyway. Yeah. The good half. I'll take the white players. <laughs> so the whole team. You be basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah. But you know, look, I love hockey. Yeah. You know. I watched Why the are there no African American players? There are very there few, are. very few. Uh, and, I mean, it's, it's Jerome McGinley. Uh, we had we've had Grant Fuhr. Yeah. I mean, the good players, right? Grant Fuhr, Jerome McGinley, Anson Carter. There's a guy on uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. But uh, the whole thing is, is that you know, uh, I think the community should, uh, you know, put a little money up, you know, the uh, the government, you know, and, and say, hey, let's build an ice skating rink and a black neighborhood. I went to Truthfully. hockey in Harlem. I'm not kidding. The Rangers, do you remember in, in the 90s, they went out there, they built the rink. The Rangers built the rink. Messier, Graves, Leach, they go out there with Richter. They and the play. Puerto Rican stole it. No kidding, though. I go up there with Bram McLaughlin. Really gone? I swear to you, here's the deal. I went up there last year with Bram McLaughlin. <laughs> Uh, she was a two-time silver medal winning USA goalie. We did a challenge on ice together. Silver medal? Silver, yeah. So a loser, huh? Well, hey, listen, I scored three out of ten penalty shots on her, so. Really? Yeah. We did it for charity, Are though. Are you saying you fun? Oh. No, no. Oh, I, so you see to me, that would mean something else. Well, listen, you know, I'm, not, shots. I'm not that good. Yeah, penalty shot. Yeah. I put three past her. Yeah, I know that's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, you put three past her. If you saw her, hold on, let me pull up some pictures for you while All we're right. talking. Right. So anyway, we go to hockey at Harlem to some event that she's doing. And what happened? And uh, it was all white kids. You and see, I was horrified. You that's what it is. You can't, you, can't, you know, that everybody, every kid should have an opportunity to play sports. Right. And that's the way I look at it. And, you know, it, it's like, you know, you would have a lot more African American people playing hockey, and it's a great sport. Uh, yeah, I mean, is that her? This is her. She's fucking hot. I know. I had her in studio, oh, and then I, I took her on on the ice. I'm looking for. She's got some bikini goalie shots that are really. Yeah. Well, there's one right there. You Where? went there, there, right there. Look at that one. Where? Right to the right, you fuck. Oh yeah. Look at that. She's pretty good looking, huh? Yeah, well, where is she now? Look at the one to the right with the flag, the American flag. Holy Hockey. shit. She's uh, in Pennsylvania, believe it or not. I'd like to put it on the white stripe on that one. Uh, she's, believe it or not, she's... Uh, is she married? She is married to a former NHLer. Oh, 
course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But she wants to do another hockey challenge with me, and yeah. we're gonna get her. Hey, the Terrifics love her. Look at that with the with the medal. I would love to puck her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I swear to God. She's a lot of fun. She's a nice girl. I would get two minutes for icing her face. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you got to have fun. That's you do. About. Yeah, exactly. You know, I agree. You live once. Yes. That's what they say. So I want one shift in the NHL. I guess if, for $1.3 billion, $1.5, I bet you I could somehow. I used to play goalie. I loved yeah. it. But I couldn't ice skate, so I ro we played roller hockey, sure. and, and we played rough. You know, and you know, but I couldn't ice skate. My ankles were fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. But I loved hockey. Yeah. Love playing. It's hockey. the best. It's it the really best. is. It's a great sport. Every sport, you know, basketball is right up there. You know, I mean, I love basketball. Yeah. I when you see these players play, you know, uh, live, you see the talent. You really see the talent. Put that anywhere. <laughs> Uh, you, you see the talent, and it's amazing that these guys, because on TV it looks so simple, but yeah. when you see it live, it's like hockey. The first time you see hockey, the fucking puck's like, you know, it's like all over. It's it hard to like, figure out what's going on. Yeah, because the puck is like, it's bouncing around, and sure. you hear the ice, and it's weird, you know? It's like, it, it makes you, when you got to go to a live hockey or a live basketball game to really understand the greatness of these athletes. Yeah. Then watch it on TV. No, basketball so especially, though. I mean, yeah. basketball looks a lot easier on TV. It's amazing when you go to a game. You know, we, that's what we love it. We got the, we Speaking of the going to a game, yeah. uh, Digital Phil in our chat room says that you used to wrestle professionally. Is yeah. that true? Uh, yeah, well, I wrestled like five matches, yeah. Really? Like legit with what league? Well, with the fucking one I was in. No, uh, <laughs> I, tra I trained at the Monster Factory in Jersey. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of big names came out of there. Uh, like who? Uh, who? Uh, the who? Did you? Did the giant? Now who's the Andre guy? Andre the giant? Uh, not the, him. Who's the big guy now? Oh, the big show. The big show. The big came out show. Of Bam Bam Bigelow. Really? Uh, and you? Wait. How old were you when you did this? Thirty-two. It was my neighbor, and you know he. But the whole thing was me and Norton did. Yeah. Jimmy Norton? Yeah, we did. No, he wasn't wrestling. We oh. we did Shane McMahon's bachelor party. Okay. On a ship. What is that At party a, like? I mean, talk about a guy who's got one point five billion dollars. It was a fucking, you know, it was yeah. a ship. It was calm for a, a bachelor, ship. I mean, I imagine like a it, boat went out, but it was a yacht. It was yeah, like a hundred and fifty foot yacht. Yes. Okay. And basically, you know, uh, we did comedy. And did they uh, get Norton, or is Norton too much for them? Well, they didn't get him that. And, you know, he goes, "How did you?" I go, "I, I go." They like you. And he goes, Ugh. "You know, whenever he goes." Ugh. I yeah. like Jimmy Norton. I love lot, him, but, but but I mean that. No, seemed, no, yeah. it's just that you know they're not easy gigs, you know. Right. But I started doing Diesel. I was able to do his voice, and that was when you know Big Daddy Cool. Sure. But they were having a fight then, and then they just liked the. I just got them, and they go, oh, you know. Maybe we can use you as some kind of, you know, you know, uh, one of the talking people. Like Captain Lou Albano. No, like somebody. No. Oh, um, like Mean Gene? Like, yeah, like somebody uh, sitting there or whatever. But and so they said, why don't you learn how to do bumps? And I didn't have to pay for it. That. Wow. So I, I did it. I, I'll do anything. It's did you get fun. hurt? Of course you get fucking hurt. Do you yeah. think that mat is soft? You're no. fucking out of your mind. It's, why do you think they're all fucking crippled? I think you're out of your mind. I am out of my for mind. For doing this. But the, if you don't do stuff in life, you'll never know what it's like to do it. You got a pretty good Hulk Hogan, right? You got, like, you imitate him pretty well, right? Let me tell you something, brother. Come down to rent a sensor. I'll get you to rent a whore that you will, you'll go, you'll go balls deep on, brother. <laughs> I don't, I'm losing my fucking voice. I do eight fucking radio shows a fucking day. Yeah, you're like the king. You're like, you know. Oh, they... yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I do too many radio shows in one day. That's right. But, yeah. I mean, it's true. I mean, at ESPN, if you were an athlete, they would call this the car wash. You go from show to show to show. You do this show to show to show. Hey, it ain't easy being dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at these fuckers. Hey. No, I, I don't even do impersonations. Who? You know why? Because... I'm too fucking funny to. Who inspired you growing up as a comedian? Nobody. Nobody inspired you? Rodney didn't? Did Nobody. One? Nobody. Nobody. When you started doing comedy, who inspired you? Nobody. You didn't look up to anybody? No. You, I, you I, like, I, I looked up to I my friends. Be my own man? Otto and George, who oh, died. Otto and George I loved great. Otto. Yeah. Uh, just people I hung out with. I didn't look up to anyone because 
I just got into this because of a freak reason. Yeah. So I didn't really, you know, you know. I I don't know. I just I don't I don't look up to any. Yeah, I, I don't watch comedy. You don't? No. So you just got up on stage. Somebody said you would be funny at this. Jackie just, had an open mic night, and you're like, oh, I'll tell some jokes. Yeah, I put together a thing, and I, I and I when I teach people but comedy, but you had to watch comedy as a kid. No, like what? The Flintstones? Uh, no, like uh, what about the Honeymooners? The honey, yeah, but that you know, every show now is the Honeymoon is basically put on TV. Right, but I mean, you could say Jackie Gleason was funny, and you know, anything was not. Yeah, the Odd Couple is funny, but that's not stand up. Right, you know sure. What I mean? but yeah. you didn't have like I mean a three's company what you about know what Richard I mean? Pryor you didn't I, I I knew you know what a genius he was afterwards I looked at it you know did you ever I mean? go to comedy clubs and watch comedy I, I would rather be raped by myself <laughs> than sit in a how, does, how does that happen you gotta you, you gotta you, do you, it uh, you have to drink a lot isn't that what Caitlyn Jenner did no, he fucked himself. Well, I, I mean, no. I think it's the same thing, yeah. isn't no, it? No, but I mean, like, you know, he fucked himself. Well, but the whole thing is, is that, you know, too soon, I, I too never... Soon we're not supposed to make Caitlyn Jenner do No, fuck that. It doesn't yeah. matter. Listen, man, if you're going to fucking... If you're going to turn into... You know what I mean? If you're going to win an award as a... A gold medal as a man, yeah. and then a woman of the fucking year. Espy, yeah. Yeah, an Espy. I mean, it's like, this, this is what this world is. You got to give somebody a fucking prize for just fucking, uh, it's brave. That's brave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know what's I, brave? Going over to fucking Iraq and uh, and those countries fighting, fucking going over three times. That That's fucking brave. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Th those are the, the vets are the ones that should be fucking we get in these well, fucking awards and they fucking they're they're fucking homeless because we get a president that wants to give other countries all this fucking money so we can save the fly babies yeah yeah i mean you bring up a good point I, really of course good point. i do yeah. i always fucking do you but, can't argue with me and, about and i do it. think that they're you know trans people uh do have it hard and it is a brave but i don't necessarily i agree with you look it's Somebody your decision has, i don't give a fuck Right. I'm not going to bother you because what you are. But it doesn't matter. But, but you're don't right. make it. You're not a fucking. You didn't climb up the Empire State Building. Although that'd be fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I look I, up the skirt. Go look at the balls and you're like, <laughs> cunt. You know. The, but I mean, Bruce has all the money in the world. Has all the ability in the world. Has all the PR people in the world. For him to turn into Caitlyn isn't as brave as a 16-year-old boy uh, exactly. who's trying to do this in the middle of Pennsylvania exactly. and getting beaten every day. Exactly. Yeah. But that's what it is. People just got to let people be. You right. know what I mean? If they're not hurting anybody, fucking don't bother them. If Amen to that and, reverence. And if they're hurting somebody, you fucking, you knock them the fuck out. Yes. Like I say, you know, a bully is only a bully until you knock him on his ass. That's for sure. And that's what I tell my son. I said, you fucking, if you got a bully in school, yeah. Just fucking take him out. You and a few friends, and then he's got no friends. Yes. That's the only reason they're you with him. You gotta punch a bully right in the mouth. You, you punch really a, do. You punch him right in the helmet. You wanna... <laughs> you wanna ser seriously, you wanna hear a crazy story real quick? I haven't told sure. this on the air yet. Uh, real quick, the Terrifics who are in the chat room are wondering who Brianne McLaughlin is. Uh, Digital Phil put up a picture of her. Oh, she's yeah, fucking here you hot. Go. She's the hockey goalie. Holy shit. Yeah. I'd like so, to score with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they can go to the website and check her out, too. Look uh, at a penalty box on her. Yeah. <laughs> she's <laughs> fucking smoking. She's, and she's very nice. I she happens to be a good goalie. The best goalie I ever took on. Seriously. Hey. I, and and so hopefully we'll do that again. But you can go to the site and check that out. Uh, just look up Brianne McLaughlin, and I, I yeah, shot on her. Just give me another thing to jerk off the <laughs> fucking psycho. You wanted me to watch that thing with the fucking... No, Adam the, was dying to show you the VR 360, the, the, the Oculus. Yeah, thing. and I put, I, I put the camera on for yeah. a second, and he's on my lap like he's fucking me. And I'm like, this thing ain't working the way you said it was. You tricked me, you oh, bastard. Man. Uh, well, listen. I don't know what Adam uh, what Adam had in there. Uh, you know, I, he told me it was ladies. We were trying to impress you while the band set up. Adam went west. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I was going to say though is that I, I I was so I was in Vegas. We, mm -hmm. we did the CES show, the Consumer Electronics Show. Mm -hmm. We're packing up. The they told us to they told me to take the van and go into a garage to meet the crew with the gear. And so I do, follow the exact instructions. I go down this ramp. Mm. The, the union guy stops me, and I'm telling him, here's the paperwork, and I'm talking to him and explaining it to him. And we're having a nice civil conversation. Mm -hmm. in, the rear, in the side view mirror, I see a cop flying down the wow. driveway, running like oh, he's in right. Terminator. Like this? Yeah. 
And he gets all over to the car, and he starts yelling, and screaming, you can't be down here. We're not letting anybody but tractor trailers in. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't have that. I, I said, well, hold on. I was told I could be here. Hold on a second. The, the Teamster and I are having a conversation. Hold on. Just hold on one second. Mm -hmm. The guy gets nuts, nuts. I'm like, hold on a second. The Teamster's like, hold on. We're talking. Let's. Yeah. We're going to all work this out. All of a sudden, he puts his gun right in my face. And I don't know. I, I'm going to say this on air, and I shouldn't say this, and I love cops. I do. And I just turned, and I would never act like this, but I just snapped, and I just turned to this guy. I mean, the gun's in my face. It's yeah. a, like a Glock 40, right? And he just, I just turned to him. I go, get that fucking thing out of my face right now. Yeah. And he puts it down, and the, and the teamster goes, yes, we can work this out. We all work it out. The cop apologizes to me. Holy shit. But how jacked up are cops in this country? Well, that's what I'm saying. they got to calm down slightly. They, they asked they if I wanted to slightly. file a report, and I said, no, no I love police officers. No, it's they're, okay. they're, just, I do so apologized. many benefits for them, but some of them, a couple of them need to be. We just be, need to take it down Take it down. Notch. Don't antagonize and people. And I'm the biggest, I really am the biggest supporter. I talk about I am the time, too. like, uh, a lot of times... People don't understand what the, what the situation the cops are in, especially they approach a vehicle. They don't know what you have in it. They don't know what you're doing. But I mean, when, I was in a dress you can't, suit. It's like when dogs start handling, fighting. Yeah. If dogs are fighting, you got to go calm, easy. Yeah. Break it up. Break it up. Here, here, if you go like this, if you go, stop it, stop it, stop. Okay, now what you are doing to them is making a right. fucking, like you're into the fight. Right. I, I didn't handle it That's well. That's the but same thing that happens to people. Do you understand? Of course. It's the same thing, especially if you're, you're in a certain, if you're in different neighborhoods, man, that shit's going to happen. Right. You have to calm it down. You have, you have to just step it down and go and say, look, man, we're going to, you know, from now on, we're going to use rubber bullets. Right. Yeah, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because if you get hit with a rubber bullet, you're taking a shot. They, they At hurt. least you're saving somebody's life. Right. They and then hurt. they, you know. I will tell you that the cops uh, do a great job. They, they did do. a great job in, in Las Vegas. And, and all the security was phenomenal. They were really worried about a terroristic threat. Um, and uh, look, sometimes you just got to punch the bully uh, in the face. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, uh, there's Brienne and her oh goalie equipment. Oh, my God. Uh, here, here you go. I think you're going to like this. This wow. is uh, me shooting on her. Oh wow! And here's the here's one of the you goals. Got it on a well, digital digital fill is it right through the five hole. Well, there you go. And then yeah, I got it over her shoulder. Ooh, I like her knee pads. Yeah, I bet. You I never did. got blown by a girl with fucking uh, knee pads like that. Uh, you didn't. No. No, that would be that'd be cool. Yeah, on ice. I don't give a fuck. That and that sounds like a fucking show for me. We can we can do like a six month run. And this is uh, the. This is amazing. I mean, this is just put up. This is our own Andrea Fasano, my co-host for CES, Comic-Con, and a lot of other stuff. Hopefully, she'll be doing more with us she, she here at Beatrific. Like, uh, we love her. And she's the, I'm going to marry. She would be marriage material, would she not? I tell her all the time she needs How to find a great guy. Uh, you know, that's a good question. I think she's in her early 30s, and she's that's the ultimate people me. person, according to Delphi University. This is a Delphi's... Mag alumni magazine. Congratulations, Andrea. Congratulations. Congratulations. And yes, I'll, I'll see you at the, the, the altar. <laughs> she is beautiful. She is. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's I, great. I, she's I a always great host and a great I, person. I, you know what I mean? Very talented. Pussy magnet. Me. Yeah. But, you know, look. I see that. No, no, because I'm a nice guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? If and you, you have a band that follows you around. It doesn't help. It does help. Yeah. It, I mean, helps. it doesn't hurt is what I meant. Yeah. Right. It does it hurt. Does it does help. Yeah. yeah. It only hurts. I misspoke like Roger Clemens, who misremembered. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what I mean? It's steroids. will <laughs> do it. You know? I'm on comedy steroids. Yeah. Congratulations, Andrea. That's yes. great. It's up in the and Slack. And you're very chat. beautiful. And my wife does leave me. I'll You'll we'll give you a up. chance. All right. She's hmm. wonderful. She did a great yeah, job. She's beautiful. You. Yeah. Are you into gadgets? You can't work that phone, but are you into gadgets? We had a lot of fun no. at CES. No. Listen to me. I don't, I don't fucking play games. Yeah. I'm not one of them guys that play games. Well, but you don't you don't want the phone, you don't want the Oculus. What are you into? What is an Oculus? That's the goggles you put on to look. That fucking guy wanted to get on my lap. I ain't fucking doing that shit again. <laughs> no, I mean no. I just like fucking life. You know, simple. Yeah. I like to go in the fucking yard and see a fucking nice bird on the thing, and then my dog takes a shit and tries to eat it, and I throw it over the fence before he gets it. To me, that's life. You know, I don't. I don't ask for much. I don't yeah. need much to be happy. But you, this is your third marriage. Where'd you meet your wife? Where I meet them all at a club. And she just came up to you, said, "I like." No, your I, I met this one like on a, a, a message board, but we just talked, and uh, she never really knew who I was because she would be at work by the time I was on the Stern show. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause sure, of course. Once she had to go to work, like we used to go on f for the news late. Yeah. Like With Robin. 10, yeah. yeah. Like you, you on 10, for 10 to 11 or 9 to 10 or something like that. And then you do the wrap-up show a lot too, right? No, nah, but this was way before that, but then before we moved over there. So she never really knew... You know, that was when they didn't have the replays in that shit. Right, and, right. Uh, like a K-Rock. K-Rock. And, yeah. uh, and we just got along on there, and then we were friends for six, eight months, and I said, you're next. That was it. Yeah. You're next. Here's the number usually on the when I, counter. Usually when I say that, that means there's somebody, somebody going to die. <laughs> but no, it's actually a good thing. Did Jackie help you get into the Stern Show? Was that how you got in? No. Uh, actually... Casey told the story about how I ate blue cheese out of a girl's ass uh, with Florentine. I remember this on in the South air, he Carolina. Told this story, right? Yeah, and then they had me call in the next day, and then they had that that contest. It's better uh, than eating M and M's out of Richard's pouch. No, oh, that there, was Sal. That was I, that was him and Ellis did that one, right? Oh yeah. That was I came yeah. up with that bit. Did you? Yeah, I was gonna say the loser had to get them poured out of the pouch into the other one's mouth but they wouldn't go for that wow that's pretty good so yeah. you came up with that and and i, I, came I always up thought richard and sal came up with that oh we all worked on it look, seems like sal says yes to anything like that though because you know what i mean they love howard like yeah. you know what i mean there's certain you know you just you, you know as a you know as a as a guy there's a certain place you can pass like i i don't think me or Artie would do something like that. Yeah, I Like, I we could come from a different world. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what it, it'll give. You, you can offer us 100,000, 500,000. I don't know. You 50, can, 50 million is kind of my number there, though. Yeah, I can I'm kind of like, ugh, I can move right. to Kuwait. <laughs> That's where you'd want to move? Well, I would I have mean, to. You, you could go with El Chapo or whatever in Mexico. It doesn't. Then can they you got, believe they how got. bad that seemed? I look at this guy. He had to get caught. Again, because he's living in squalor. He's got all this money. I looked at mm. those photos of that place. It, he might as well be in prison. And that's right. You know, he probably want to get caught. Yeah. You know what I, I think mean? He did. He I mean, did, you're giving yeah. Sean Penn your phone number. You want to get caught. I know. I fucking Sean. Well, Sean Penn seems like a cool guy. He's misunderstood. Yeah. Most, most he's about to be missing in action. Yeah, well, most, most geniuses are misunderstood. Remember that. I will. I will. So, so you you do the blue cheese stunt, and then they get you on the air. They get me on the air, and then they had the uh, meanest listener contest, and it was a roasting, and I won that, and then wow. just has had fun. You know, it was fun. I I can't say anything bad. It, I, it was bad times with you know the bosses and just the rats that sure it, you know what i mean it was never well, you don't play the game i can tell that you're not you're not uh, playing i'm not the a game, game player yeah. no uh, i uh, i'm like my answer is fuck you suck my dick yeah and that goes over well in walk, corporate america but uh, yeah it doesn't yeah. but i i don't give a shit because i'll right. i'll just turn up somewhere else you right. know what i mean and you have you do great i don't care yeah. see it doesn't matter to me i'm not going to be that person right it can't be. I was never brought up that way, and it would be an insult to my father to be like that. At the Rev Bob Levy. On, the Rev, on Twitter, yeah. yeah. The Rev Bob Levy dot com. Rev Bob Levy. Rev Bob com. Levy dot com. And, and uh, you're going to be at Butch Bradley's Comedy Hideaway this Friday and Saturday in Atlantic City. HideawayAC.com. That is HideawayAC.com. Or go to RevBobLeeby.com or just watch. You know, I'll post this shit. I'll talk to you motherfuckers. You follow me, I'll yeah. follow you back. You'll follow the Terrifics. I'll, I, I did yeah. follow you already. You well, I mean, the Terrifics, the viewers. They're the Terrifics. Oh, okay. Yeah. I followed you guys. Yeah. 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 And Jeez. then uh, at the end of the month, the 29th and 30th, you'll be at the Comedy Club, uh, Comedy Club in Nagatog, Connecticut. And it's mycomedyclub.com. It's a great place. And uh, there is a restaurant next door, but I have nothing to do with it. All right? <laughs> so, <laughs> RevBobLevy.com yeah. for more. And come well, to Connecticut. And this, then I'm going to be doing stuff for the troops. Uh, sure. I uh, might be going to Vegas in the beginning of February. I'm getting hit up with something. That's great. Will yeah. you keep us posted on that? No. Okay. No, I will. Of course and, I will. And, and then the, the troops, the website for what you're doing with the uh, troops. Go to, go to Warrior Point with, you know, an E yeah. at the end, point T, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's how it's it like, is. It's like one of those nice apartment complexes. Yes. They got to call it the point. Yes. But Warrior Point is eight. on Facebook. 
they're on Twitter, but Facebook's the main thing. And if you're in the military or war, uh, uh, if you're in the military now or you are any kind of vet, as long as you have your records, you can go on uh, warriorpoint.org and join that. And, and, get to, and if you have problems, talk to each other. You know what I mean? Uh, we're, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not, I can answer, you know, I can send you to somebody the when we go out there. It's, the point is to get everybody the help they need. And the awareness. Yeah. The, way, the awareness need, is the main thing that's so hidden in this fucking All world. Right. We've, we've joked around a lot. I love it. But let's take a serious moment because mm -hmm. you talked about uh, anxiety and dealing with Xanax before. Mm -hmm. it, I think uh, for a lot of these troops, it is uh, something that they are afraid to admit that they need help it's seen as an unmasculine and not tough no it's not that it's it's just that you know they don't want to be around people yeah. they don't really feel safe around people and i my thing is to get the communities to know you know if they want to know where they live you know what i mean it's up to them I, and then you know people can visit them and come by and say hey you want to come watch the game with me you want to go fishing you wanted to do this, you know, and, and get them out of the house slowly. And, uh, you know, but we will have, uh, everybody's going to be a professional that goes to them first. Right. You understand? It's not bullshit. And, and when, if somebody needs money or say they, 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 they owe a lot of money in their car, we, we will pay it, right? But we're not a charity. We're going to keep paying your fucking bill. We're going to teach you. We're going to teach you how to manage your bills to be able to pay. The same thing with your houses. The same thing with whatever. If you need something, yeah, we'll get you something. But we're not. Uh, uh, we're not going to keep handing you money and be lazy. We're going to teach you how to to actually live again. I love that. And that's, that's that. And that's what that's what makes somebody feel like a man. I love that. Or a woman. Warrior point with an e dot com dot org. Dot org. Dot org. And that's if you're point. military. Right. But it's uh, important for people to support this, to find out more. Go to the Facebook. Yeah, Warrior, Warrior Point. point and, and just, you know what I mean? You can donate. And all the money goes there, man. You know what I mean? All the money right. that is donated from any store, everything that comes in, it, it, it's 100%. It's we got to take care of our troops. They take care of us. They defend our freedom. You know what American I mean? I get pissed off when I see people that come to a show and go, I haven't been out in six months, and I'm like, "What do you mean?" Yeah, man. And they go, "I just don't." It's I've been over there, and I then I, I find out about this shit. Yeah. And I'm like, "Something's got to be done." And then when I talk to them about the kids' band, about a song, and these guys are going to write a song about it. Well, we it. had another one, but yeah. that fucking band took a shit because the father uh, still wanted to play in the band, and he's like fucking sixty, so you know, and. Uh, so, so the father ruined the experience. All yeah. right, well, let's let these guys play again. And then no, I all right. That's look, it. I'm gonna right, tell so these kids how to play, <laughs> and I don't want you overplaying anything. All right, let's let them play again. Yeah. All right, and uh, can can we? We're gonna have them do something from uh, somebody who just died. Uh, one of the greatest artists, uh, musicians you'll ever. You ever get to see, and if you watch his documentaries, his film, David Bowie, who just passed away. Bowie. And, uh, and he was so unique and so amazing. You know what I think is amazing about Bowie is he was such an artist and so special. He really was. He changed music. Uh, he created art, and then he left a legacy. So brilliant to yeah. do that, and, and I really admire that it wasn't just lights out. It was, here's my, my parting gift. Yeah. And, and I really liked it. So because yeah. every album was a different person, yeah. you know. And he Absolutely. Was, he, it was more of a, a, it was a story. It wasn't like just another album. Yes, I agree. Yeah. And there was a whole story behind it. All right. So uh, you've heard of the No Name Defense. This is the No Name Band. We'll have a name for them soon, which you're going to tweet out. Yes. But the No Name Band might not be bad. It's probably taken. Taken. It's probably, taken. Taken, of course. Probably hey, some if the Terrifics bag. have an idea, you want them to write in? I mean, they're going to say, oh, the douchebags. <laughs> I and like whatever. that, though. That sounds hey, good. You All right, like so, it? Wait, they're shaking their head. They're like, all right. No. Huh? Is, that, is that taken? Is oh, it taken we as We well? got to make sure it's not taken, inbox. so they yeah. got to inbox you it because oh. we have to look and see if it's taken. Right. All right. So, uh, listen, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, these guys will play, and then we'll come back to wrap it in a nice little bow. How's that sound? It sounds great. All right. So you're the Terrifics. I'm Michael Artsis. He's Bob Levy. 
You make be terrific special. Hopefully you're enjoying this. We're having a lot of fun, making a lot of jokes. It's all for good humor, and yeah. we're uh, helping to hopefully call attention to a really serious issue. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this, including the band, who will play a David Bowie cover. Don't go anywhere. Just put my spine out of place. Hey man, well my school days are tame. Hey man, well my work down the drain. Hey man, well she's a total of my lamb. She said she got the and the rain on me, man, cause you can't afford a ticket. No matter if stuff you sit in. Lots all lean on me, man, cause you ain't got time to check it. You know the stuff that you sit in. Oh, it's alright. It's out of sight. Well, Henry's on me, I can't go away. Hey, man, I can't take it this time, no way. Hey, man, well, Jimmy, don't, don't crash here. here. There's only one for one. If she comes in, you got a dog lean on me, man, because you can't afford the ticket. I'm back and stuff with your city. I don't lean on me, man, because you ain't got time to check it. You know the stuff with your city. I don't lean on me, man, because you ain't got time to check it. You know the stuff with your city. I don't lean on me, man, cause we ain't got time to check it. Get it on my side when you sit here. It's all right. Woo! It's all right. Oh, hit me. I don't lean on me, babe, cause you can't afford a ticket. I'm not the stuff that you sit here. I don't lean on me, babe, cause you ain't got time to check it. You're not the stuff that you sit here. I don't lean on me, babe, cause you can't afford a ticket. I'm not the stuff that you sit here. I don't lean on me, babe, cause you ain't got time to check it. You're not the stuff that you sit here. Oh, it's all right. Whoa, it's all right. Suffer to sit it. 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 Suffer to sit it.
Jose. Rockstar, you are the Terrifics. You make me Terrific special, special edition of the Michael Arts Show. Hey. Bob Levy and the No Play. Damn Band. I'll call them the Bob Levy Band for now. The Bob Levy Foro. The Quattro. Oh. Cinco. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quartet. No, but that would be four again. Yeah. The Bob Levy and the Quartets. I don't yeah, know. We'll figure something. Yeah, you'll figure out something. I like what the Terrifics have come up with, but I don't know if... Uh, did my words sound yeah. good? They said it's gold. Yeah. Mindset said it was gold. Good, you yes. see? I love it. You could be the next uh, Sandler with that. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I can do a Green Day because he just does a fake English accent. Yeah. You know? I never understand why more comics who are really geniuses like yourself who can ad-lib don't do something like Sandler does with the Hanukkah song. I don't know. All right. Because I have talent. <laughs> Did you see his last movie, by the way? It's on Netflix, straight They're to Netflix. They're all the same as the other one. My wife literally said to me, is that the worst movie? What are you watching? This is the worst movie ever. And I They're said, They're all the same movie. Do you understand? I can act. I can do this. I, I'm too strong for this business. Do you yeah. understand? Because if somebody gives me a piece of shit, I'm going to tell them a piece of shit. Right. And I've done that many times. Yeah. They're used to going, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, he just got trouble. Uh, yeah. I have to go play tennis with Molly. <laughs> yes. You know, or Bill. Well, he had a couple of good ones. Uh, Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. And The Wedding Singer. Three of them. That's ha the Happy trio. Gilmore. Happy Gilmore was great. That was it. I love that movie. Uh, your son Dom is uh, walking away. He's eating pizza now. Of course he is. You are very proud of this guy, though. I like that. No, uh, he like fucking Artie loves him too. Artie Lang, and he, he says, you know, he goes, he goes, you raised a good kid. You, you know, you. you How did be, that happen? You know, you just fucking tell him, don't be a dickhead. And I've done this. I've done, I don't hide anything from him. Yeah. You know, and we, it's everyone that hides shit from their kids. Their kids fucking end up doing drugs and shit. Sure. If he does drugs, he knows he'll never do them again because I'll cut his fucking hands off. That's I like that. That's a good policy. You know? It's some something like uh, they say, do in the Middle East. Say no to hands. <laughs> say no to hands. Um, but uh, so Artie likes him. Artie loves yeah, him. He's Artie, a good kid. Yeah, and, Artie said he's a fucking great kid. Yeah. You got you know he's got a lot of talent, and you know he's 16, and you know he's doing great, and fucking I'm happy for him. Yeah. He's getting a little bit fucking dream, you know? It's pretty awesome. What did it feel like to be a rock star for a minute? I mean, a comedian being I've, on I've stage not, is amazing. I played when I was younger. You did. I don't know if you heard a band called Van Levy. Van Levy. In the early 80s. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it I was played. a Van Halen cover band? No, I'm joking. But I was in a band, yeah. Starblind. I, we were in a magazine, so. Yeah. And yeah, we, I played for a couple of years, and then uh, I got a shore house, and I'd rather do mescaline and fuck women. Right. Sounds like a little... Well, isn't that the reason you... Yeah, but you don't want to practice. Right? We practice three, four times a week. You right. know what I mean? Too much Too much work. Too much for, you know, look, dragging that shit around. What's it like being a comic when everybody's laughing, when you're killing it on stage? Because it's to the, me, that's got to be the it's best It's the best in the world. feeling in the world. There's nothing like this. My wife's like, what are you off to... I go, I would work every night if I could. Yeah. This business can't fucking... Uh, they don't want to pay anybody. If they're going to go out of business. Because you know, clubs are going to go under. Most club owners are assholes. Go, you know, you can go fuck yourselves. I really don't give a shit. I don't need to kiss your fucking asses. I'm, I never did. And then they're, they're just trying to cheapen shows. And people know horse shit when they're what, fed it. What's the format got to be then? I mean, does it, is it something like this where we have a studio audience? Like you did the Anthony show. I was there. They have a studio audience where they can uh, have people pay to watch. It's, it's almost like a pay-per-view. So Bob Levy's performing tonight, and you can go do your act in front of an audience so you can get the audience reaction, but all these other people are watching at home and everybody's paying. Is, is, ah, is that you the don't deal? Want, no, you, you, want, you want to go out and have a good time mm -hmm. and have good comedians. You know what I mean? Sure. You, you just, if, you, when the economy is taking a bite, you don't fucking cheapen shit. Right. Because then that is you, you're going to see all clubs watch. You will see what I'm talking about. Clubs will close down here, this town, that town, that town, all around. Do you have a favorite they, club? Do, uh, yeah, just a lot. You know, the, uh, the funny stop and, and, and uh, uh, Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of clubs I like, you know what I mean? Uh, the Comedy Cove in Springfield, New Jersey. Uh, you know, it, 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 I just love working, yeah. you understand? There's nothing like it. 
Does your son get to watch you? Has he seen you perform? Hell seen yeah. You get to laugh? He's done comedy. Yeah. You know, he'd done comedy when he was 12. And, wow. And he was, uh, you know, his mother didn't want him in it because of drugs and alcohol, so she said get in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Yeah. But, oh, we got, we got the rim shot. There you go. It's yeah. nice having a band here. Yeah, he'll give me a rim job later. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, the, whole, the whole thing is, is that, you know, he gets to see what I do and, and, you know, and to meet my good friends who will always be my friends. Yeah. Not these fucking scumbags that come into your life because they want something. Sure. You know what I mean? If you want some help, yeah, I'll give you help. But don't, don't expect it all the time. Hey, Dom, if you could step up to that mic real quick. I got a couple questions for you. He's still chewing his pizza. But mm -hmm. uh, just this one right here. Right here. Oh, You're right good. Here? Yeah. What, what do you think of your dad's comedy? He's hilarious. You yeah. Know, he's the best comedian I've ever seen. Are you proud of him? Very, yeah. What's it like watching him perform? It's crazy, you know? He'll go after one dude for being fat or something, and it's just, it's great. I do it in a nice way. Like, yeah. I bust balls, but I do it, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't pick on any women in the audience. I never pick on a woman, unless it's, unless it's their fault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they don't shut up or they're obnoxious, you know, and they have to, they will pay. Right. I will fucking sick my venom on them, but I will <laughs> never pick on a woman. That's any nice audience, you. you know, I, I just won't. Because yeah. guys can take it, you know what I mean? Most guys can. <laughs> Some get upset. I'm like, you're at a comedy club, fuckhead. You yeah. know what I mean? I go try to come up here. I'll fucking kick you out with a mic stand. There you, you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Why? why I take do it personal. Heckle? You know? Yeah. But I don't like when people heckle. Uh, you no, know, people don't heckle me. People are afraid to sit up in the front. Look, I I have a reputation. You know yeah. what I mean? And people are afraid to sit up front. They won't go to the bathroom when I'm up because they're, they'll be a target. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I just go and have fun. You know what I mean? I if people that. do not, if people take me serious as, like if I'm doing this to you at, at uh, you know, to my backyard at your party making fun of you or at the mall, yeah, then I can see something. But if you get offended at the show, I want to kill you. Right. You know, but not kill you. Right, kill right, you. right. Ch yeah, I want to yeah. kill you. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I take this very... Pro but not I literally. love what I do. Yeah. I love what well, I do. That's so interesting. I love comedy. And I, I love to see great comics like you, like mm -hmm. Jackie, like Jim Norton, like Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. I recently saw uh, Don Rickles. I had oh, never yeah. seen Don. Uh, and, and I sought out Joan Rivers before she died. And mm -hmm. it was amazing to see her. I wound up seeing her twice. Uh, and it was great to see Don, but the thing I got with Don, because Joan wasn't as close, I mean, Don is like hanging on there, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing I got from Don was that he loves it so much that they have to roll him on stage. He doesn't want you to see that, so they put up a big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. He's got a diaper. I noticed he's got a diaper on, but he loves it so much he's willing to go through all of that just to perform. There's no high, like, there's... Like even doing radio yeah. and TV, like you know, you, know, you do when I did Anthony's show, you, you know, you're you, you're you're in the air, you know what I mean? Because sure. uh, that's how it is being on stage. When you get off, they're like you could be exhausted. You get there, you go, oh, as soon as I get on stage, I'll be awake. Yeah. Then you know, then you go up there and you kick it, uh, you kick your ass, and for an hour, an hour and a half, or however long, and uh, you basically you're you know you're pumped up and you're up all night watching. You know, yeah. TV or just fucking around, you know, you know, jerking off to the war channel. Yeah, that's, you do that. You, yeah, well, then, you know, yeah, some yeah. of those Nazi chicks are hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah, because they're all blonde and blue-eyed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. All right. Uh, Bob, I, I got uh, one question left for your son. Uh, he, I, I think this is so nice, so magical that mm. you're supporting him. You're so proud of him. You're you're making sure uh, that he gets opportunities. Are you, wait, he's supporting me. Are you? No, oh, you're okay. supporting him. <laughs> He'll be supporting what, me soon. Dom, what's it like for you to have your dad really give you such a, a support and 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 be here? Like, I mean, I was sitting here. It took you guys what an hour to set up. Yeah. I don't know many dads that would sit here and hang out while their kids are setting up, and then going to perform. You know, it, it's a lot, right? Yeah. It's you know, like with my dad, like he's he knows the you know what I can do on the bass, and he knows what the yeah. whole band can do, and you know he knows what can happen. I'm terrible at speaking, but uh, you're doing great. No, but he's just you know he's very supportive about the stuff. You know, most fathers, you know, they'll go to like a concert, like a school concert, and just sit there, be on their phone. He'll 
You know, he'll look up from his phone sometimes. He's funny, too. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Apple doesn't fall far from the just, tree. You know, All right, now sit down and play. Oh, okay. No, I'm, no, I'm no, kidding. No, 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 the whole thing is is that, you know. No, Dom, I was kidding. No, oh. get over there. No, yeah. The whole thing is is that you have to support what you, you know what I mean? If you see that, you know, what he learned on the bass is just, he plays Jocko. Yeah. And people don't, you know, play that shit after a year and a half. You know what sure. I mean? He's only been playing a year and a half. Wow. So you know that somebody's gifted and you have to you have to, you know, be there for them. But I like it. It's very nice. And and, and I, I think you're right, and I hope that Dom appreciates it. You're doing oh, no, great. he does. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, uh, we'll keep everybody posted when you guys have uh, a name. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> and uh, we'll tweet out and I'm sure you'll have a Twitter to tweet out. And uh, at the Rev Bob Bob Levy, Levy. and at the Rev Bob, and I'll follow Levy. you back sometime tomorrow or something. A busy weekend, but I'll follow you back if you follow me. At Rev Bob Levy, at the, at Rev. the Rev Bob Levy, and uh, RevBobLevy.com. Butch mm-hmm. Bradley's Comedy Hideaway this Friday and Saturday, Atlantic City. HideawayAC.com. You have to see this man. He is hilarious. It is worth the ride from anywhere, including taking a plane, getting a chopper, whatever you have to do, you want to see Bob Levy. If you miss him in AC, HideawayAC.com. And also you can go to his website, RevBobLevy.com. You don't want to miss him in Connecticut. In fact, if you see him in AC, you're probably going to want to take the drive to Connecticut. Probably. He is I'll that even give funny. you a ride. You know, that's how cool I am. I've met many, you yeah. know, people on Twitter that became friends of mine. That's great. And, you know, that's how, that's how you're supposed to be. Yeah. You understand? You know what I mean? You got to be like, a good I don't person. think of me as me. You know what I mean? I, it's weird. Like, when my son would go to the movies and some guy would go, Reverend! And I'd be like, what the fuck? And he goes, oh, it's just a fan. You know what I mean? Yeah. When he was younger. And I didn't realize, like, I don't realize anything when you go out. You know what no. I mean? I'm always just going to be me, no matter what. You know? I like it. You are. The, you really are. Uh, yeah, but that's yeah. the only person I can be. I can't be a fucking phony. I just can't do it. I, I don't know it. how to do it. I love it. Uh, MyComedyClub.com for Nagata, Connecticut tickets. That is the end of the month, the 29th and 30th of January. And, of course, at the Rev, Bob Lee. And also, RadioMisfits.com, we do our podcast on. I love it. And you'll see it on RevBobLeeby.com, and I'm going to get these fuckers to do a rock one. Awesome. Yeah. we got to get you in studio uh, again. I would love to. And these guys, you're, yeah. you're all welcome anytime, but we'd love to have you guys all in again. Yeah. And, and you in again as well. well we're open that day, too. <laughs> Are you guys going to open for him on uh, Friday and Saturday? Is that what we're going to do? Is, uh, is they there, could if they want. You said you like opening for yourself. Is there, like having your own show, you said that before. Is there anybody you like working with? Is it Artie? No, is my it Jim? Friend, no, my, I work with my friends, yeah. you know what I mean? I, yeah. I work with the guys from, uh, like, John Kensel, who does my uh, internet show, uh, Joe Conti. Uh, I like to work with people that, you know, that can give me a ride. Excellent. You know, yes. you know, but, That's you always know, important. No, but it's just like, you know, you, you want to... You don't want to meet a comedian and they're like, hey, do you, can you get me in with this guy? I'm like, I fucking, I'm probably on the outs with that guy, all right? Just fucking leave me the fuck alone. I don't, I'm not here to answer your questions. You're just here to give them a ride. I'm, no, I'm just here to have to do comedy. I don't want to fucking, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I, I just don't need, oh, what's like, what's salad like off the air? The fuck, he's just a nice guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? What the fuck kind of questions you're gonna you're gonna bother me with this shit before I go on? Exactly. So that's why I'd rather bring my own show with me, or do like you know my sure. I do a one man show sometimes where you I bring myself. You have comics who up. are t- chatty with you, who go on the road with you, and then are chatty the whole time. Like you're getting on stage or you're getting in your well, zone. Well, yeah, I I have a ten minute time where I just get to myself and I just and make people know to stay the stay, fuck away stay from away, me. Yeah. Because I'm just zoning out, and I'm putting myself, I blank my mind, and then I'm able to think of five things at one th- time when I'm talking. I already know what I said, what I'm seeing, what I'm doing right now, what that person's doing, and what I'm going to say after. And, not, and I, that's what I think gives wow. me the edge. That is impressive. Uh, yeah, and, and for you, a stupid folk, as everyone thinks. Do you have, I mean, is it a set routine, or do you sometimes vary? Or you, I can, spo- you I seem can very do, spontaneous. I can do an hour of nothing. Yeah. If I go up there and say, I, uh, how many people have seen me before? And 70, 60, half the room. If half the room raises their hand, I'll just make up shit. I like I'll that. say, watch this. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. And I'm not going to shortchange him either. 
Comedy is it's it's hard. It's a hard road. I, I've followed comics like I've hung with them and, and followed them through doing the New York clubs like one stop after another. Yeah, you, that's you, different. You I run don't, on stage. I don't you don't go know in the, city the guy shit. bombs. It's crazy, but it's hard. But I I always I never I respect comics. I love them. I could never understand how they tell the same jokes in this club, go to the next club, and they sell it the same way. But I love that you change it up. You got to mix it room. up. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna say until I get on stage. It's, uh, what, you it's know? pretty amazing. Well, you didn't know what you were going to say before you came in here? Uh, we didn't have anything. Yeah, we know? didn't prepare. And look, I fucking <laughs> brought the roof down. Yeah, mm -hmm. it actually is falling. I know. Yeah. Well, thank you again. Thank you hey, so much. You did a pleasure. great job. It's always fun, man. Uh, in the words of Al Michaels, lest anyone think that uh, this was all serious, please realize uh, we had a lot of fun tonight. We had a lot of uh, humor, and uh, please take it all as a joke. Yeah, it's stop being pussies and uh, support Warrior Point. Yes, warriorpoint with an e dot org, and you go to their Facebook page. It's a really Warrior important Point. cause. It is, man. Yeah. Uh, it's time to give back, you fucks. That, I that, agree. That's, that's the t-shirt. I like I'm that. Making. That should be the t-shirt. Time yeah. to give back, you fucks. Yeah, with like the Marines and Army and and U.S. Air Force logos on them. Navy, Army. Navy, yeah. Gotta get have oh, everybody. I forgot the Navy. Yeah. yeah, you can't forget about no, them. No, 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 absolutely very, not. Very All right, so uh, you guys are amazing. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and you're it. You're terrific. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did. Hey, well. I had a ball, man. Excellent. Well, you got to come back. Well, I'm coming back. Excellent. Stop begging. Uh, Fuck. All right. Holy shit. And uh, of course, we hope you enjoyed. Again, don't take it all too seriously. Yeah. We'll be back uh, tomorrow with a whole lot more. Uh, I want to thank the band. These guys are amazing. And, of yeah. course, the Reverend Bob Levy and Adam Holtz for working so diligently behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching. They're going to take you out with one more song. Until next time, you guys ready? What yeah. song? <laughs> what song? I don't know. The one they went in with, they're going out with. Yeah. Until next time. You're the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. Thanks for watching. Be Terrific. I'm feeling good now, yeah, but can you explain? Dizzy in the head, I'm feeling blue. Things you said, or maybe they're true. I get my dreams again and again. I know what it means, but can you explain? I think it's love. Try to say it to you when I feel blue. dreams again and again I know what it means but What the hell I'm doing here?